you've not guessed already, unfortunately I'm injured. I've done something to my toes, possibly broken, but yet to be diagnosed. So now it's full on cross training. Starting with the Zwift race. So this is a Zwift Labs race, using their new point scoring. Let's see how it goes, but as normal, it's four beans from the start. Found myself on the front, don't want to be there. Just stay in the front pack, that's all I've got to do. I'm probably racing too low category, but until the point system is sorted and I've done more races, then this is where I'm recommended. I wish I knew what I'd done to the toes. Just something that came on at the end of the ultra, went away, and then at the end of last week, suddenly came back at the end of the long run. Okay, that's the lead in done. Two laps for Sean to leave eh, now. I'm in performance condition, minus four. Yeah, that's fair. Luckily, I've always done cycling and indoor rowing, so I do have things to fall back on. There's obviously some strong riders still in here, so probably the same as me, where the score isn't quite representative yet. And by the way, it's about 20 degrees and over 80% humidity in the garage. <sighs> Some people think you can't get the benefits through indoor cycling, but I firmly disagree. It's definitely a great piece for cross training. And as you can see in here, the effort is definitely real and the sweat is definitely pouring by the end of these races. So during this race, I'm basically articulating some of the thoughts that normally stay in my head. So this is pretty much what goes through my mind while I'm suffering doing Zwift races, which I haven't done for several months for various reasons, mainly because I'm focused on the running. Underpass with a feather to counter the anvils. Just found myself on the front, had to basically break. So this is coming into what I class as a sprint finish, but yeah, as you can tell, I'm no sprinter and I'm definitely not swift fit. So despite everything and the suffering that you can clearly see I'm in, I did get an increase in my FTP, which is one good thing. In addition to the cycling, we've got the indoor rowing. Luckily this week there's the new event from Concept2, the Row Olympics. So this is going to be a very full on week of rowing to compensate for the lack of running. This is my first one, uh, it's a 10 minute row, basically full blast for 10 minutes. It's really difficult, it's just over 2 kilometres. And you get used to training for 2k efforts, but uh, this was tough. You'll also have to excuse the state of the garage. It is a garage and it's crammed full of my fitness stuff. Well that's the first one done. And as you can tell at the end, I was completely out. That's as much as I'd got. Not the best time in the world. I've rode faster doing a 5k with a much higher average pace, but I haven't been doing much indoor rowing recently. So on to number two. This is a 30 minute effort. These really do start to bite towards the end. This is a case of just trying to be as consistent as possible, holding a pace and breaking the event down. So that's my non-running week done. I also did a couple of strength sessions and some yoga. I'll continue with the cross training until I can get the toes sorted out. Then I'll restart the training program, possibly 10 weeks, even eight if needs must.